Hello everyone! Today we'll discuss two new features that allow you to manage name credentials programmatically. First, through some new classes of the Connect REST API and second, through Apex. This enables automating the creation and modification of name credentials from CI-CD pipelines and also from 2GP managed packages. My name is Alba Rivas and I'm going to walk you through them. A name credential is a metadata type that allows you to specify a URL for a callout endpoint and its authentication configuration. By using name credentials, you bypass the complexity of having to code authentication details yourself. You can use name credentials in Apex like this. A few releases ago, we revamped the architecture underneath name credentials to make them more flexible and secure. We called them next generation named credentials. The new architecture uses an updated object model. The authentication details are now stored in a new object called external credentials that provides even more reusability. In addition, users now need permissions to make callouts using specific name credentials. In the Summer 23 release, we introduced two new features for next generation named credentials. First, they were exposed through the Connect REST API. This means you can now create, update, and delete name credentials by sending requests to a REST endpoint. Additionally, they were made available in Apex also via the Connect API. This means you can now create name credentials using Apex classes as well. These new features enable two main new use cases. If you are a software implementator or a final customer, you can use the Connect REST API to incorporate named credentials management into your CI CD pipelines, achieving infrastructure as code. Now you can programmatically create name credentials in an OR, move credentials from one OR to another, or even rotate keys in your production org. Managing your name credentials in an automated way will prevent errors from manual setup and will increase security. If you're an ISV, you can now create name credentials natively in Apex. This means you can package a script that runs in your subscriber orgs to create the needed name credentials. And bonus, as name credentials are now available in Apex, you could develop your own Lightning Web Components UI to manage name credentials with a different user experience. But weren't named credentials already supported by the Metadata API? Yes, however, the Metadata API doesn't allow deploying shared secrets such as API keys, as these are not meant to be stored as metadata for security. For this same reason, secrets cannot be packaged either. However, these new Connect API capabilities allow you to populate sensitive values through the REST API or Apex. So, let's take a look at how they work. First, let's see how the Connect REST API operates. The Connect REST API for name credentials provides full CRUD capabilities. This is, you can create, update, and delete name credentials using the Connect REST API. Let's try them out. We'll test the new name credential endpoints using Postman. For instance, let's retrieve the list of all existing name credentials by making the following API call. There we have! 
Remember to clone the Salesforce Postman collection, which contains complete examples of how to query these new endpoints. Now let's explore the new Connect API classes in Apex. Here is an example piece of code that creates an end credential from Apex. First, we create an external credential, which will define our authentication configuration and we define a principle for it. Next, we give permissions to use that principle in a permission set that you should have assigned in order to use the external credential. Then we create the name credential, setting its required fields such as type and callout URL, its callout options, and that's it. Great. So let's now execute this method in execute anonymous. And let's go back to our org and refresh to see the newly created name credential and external credential. You can find this complete example in Apex recipes. Note that in this case, credentials need to still be enabled by administrators and they will live under your package namespace. That's all from me. I'm sure these new APIs will offer you a lot of flexibility to leverage the full potential of next generation name credentials. Check out this list of resources where you will find answers to all your questions. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel where you'll discover more videos like this showcasing the latest tools and resources to supercharge your development skills. Thank you and see you on the next video.